Paule. Most of this video is going to be about the brakes, taking them apart and cleaning them. But before I started on that, I wanted to take a look at the design on the tank. I found this bike online and I really like the design, so I think I'm going to try and stick with this color scheme. So obviously this is just spraying right on, I, I'm going to remove this, strip the whole tank down and remove all the rust and all that stuff later. I'm not a big fan of this bulge here and this is why I'm, I'm trying out these color schemes to try and design something that will hide that bulge a little bit without getting a new tank. I think I'll go for something like this with a metallic yellow and a clear coat and some uh, stick on chrome letters. Anyway, so the rest of the video is going to be a little bit more detailed about restoring the brakes. So if you're interested in that stuff then keep watching. This is the master cylinder and as you can see it's a pretty bad shape. The same goes for the rear brakes and master cylinder. I'm just picking off paint here and it's totally corroded the whole thing. So I've been watching some YouTube videos and it seems like the best way to deal with this stuff is to do something called soda blasting. It's basically like, like sandblasting except it's much more... Uh, it doesn't damage the metal too much. So here you can see uh, this is initial setup of this thing. It's it's uh, using way too much soda here, but eventually I get it working uh, fine. And I, and this was a, actually a very effective way of getting this stuff cleaned. And the nice thing too about it is that you can just hose it down afterwards. So here's the rear master cylinder again after like five minutes of soda blasting the aluminum body. I think this is pretty much ready for painting. Now as for the master cylinder reservoir on the front, I decided to rebuild that one. Now to get out the main piston I needed to get this C-clip out and this cost me a lot of headache. It was just too deep for regular tools but I managed to get it out using these two needle like tools that are in the background here. I don't know what they're called. Now the next thing to tackle was these brake calipers. I'd never done anything like this before and this also turned out to be a bit more of a challenge than I would have initially thought. Long story short, you need to get the pistons out of these without damaging them. And um, I didn't know how to do this but after googling a little bit I tried compressed air which worked on a, a lot of them but then once you get one of the pistons out, you need to figure out, you know, how to get the other one out because then air is just escaping through the other piston hole. So one way you could do it is use a clamp like this, but what I found to be the best way is to block block the ports inside the caliper or just open the caliper and block the ports with your hand. Make sure to wear gloves for this. As you can see, I was not prepared for this the first time, so uh, Now I had two pistons that would not budge with air at all and the way I solved this which uh, I've not seen anyone else suggest online is to use my pressure washer actually. That worked great and when this thing finally came out I was so happy because I'd been I didn't know what to do or what to try next. So finally it was all disassembled and ready for cleaning. 
and after getting these piston rings cleaned I could see that the, the previous guy who had these out did not follow internet's advice about not using tools to damage them because uh, these were pretty pretty damaged and this was definitely not my doing so normally I would show like a final result but this these aren't gonna get painted anytime soon I'll do that all together with the tank and everything so I guess for now this is it you know and I'll do another video once once I have more to show